If you're new to Destiny for Destiny 2 and all of a sudden you're hearing people talk about something called Xur, you might be a little bit confused. Xur, Agent of the Nine is the fellow's full name, and he shows up every Friday in Xur to bring presents to all the Guardians that have been good this week. Xur is the game's exotic item merchant, who brings a random selection of four exotic items for people to buy every week, one weapon, and one piece of armor for each class. It's an essential service for those fixated on the collection side of the game. For those wondering what he's buying this week, check out Paul Tassie's guide. Zur happens to have the best weapon in the game right now, which is a decent way to start things off. Returning players will notice one major difference in Destiny 2 Zur appears to no longer spawn in social spaces, or at least no longer exclusively in social spaces. He's currently sitting not too far from the Watcher's Grave fast travel point on Nessus. And despite the fact that Xur has a whole lot more room to move this time around, he's actually a little bit easier to find, mostly because he's got a map icon associated with him now. So just look on your map for a 9 in a little green marker, that's Xur. All of his items drop at 270 this time around, which is just about in line with trends we've seen in the past. They're high enough to give a little boost to someone who isn't quite in the end game, but anyone past that will have to use infusion to get one of his items up to snuff. The other major difference from the original Destiny, in Destiny, Zur took strange coins, which were just one of the many, many currencies guardians were juggling in the game. This time around, it's legendary shards, which players can get from dismantling legendary or exotic items and which are also used to infuse items and rebuy certain special items from faction vendors. For many, this is a welcome simplification, though for right now I'm so lousy with legendary shards that I can easily just buy every piece on offer. Aside from that, Zura appears to be a little less expensive than he was before. The game no longer has heavy synthesis for him to sell, and he no longer has a curial section under his menu. All in all, the Zura visit is a bit less of an occasion this time around, mostly because of how easy it is to buy his whole stock and because he doesn't have those other items on offer. It doesn't hurt that he's already sold one of the best items in the game, of course, though the same thing happened with Gyalurhorn way back at the Destiny launch.